only one body of Christ in the world. And I want to be part of that in reaching out and acknowledging their faith and learning. I have to learn so much. As I moved around in the country trying to find the Church of Christ and believers and so on, then, then, then I found them and then again God spoke to me through this word from Revelation 3 verse 2 very clearly. Awake, strengthen what remains that is at the point of death. That did not constitute a call or, or plan for organization or a mission because the pastor had just told me uh, on that very first trip, he said, Andrew, you being here means more than 10 of the best sermons. I could preach, let alone a good sermon, but I could be there. And if be there is the answer for them, of course, that is easy. Then, then anybody can do what, what I did, just be there. And then see how God uses you. Because if you're not there, God cannot use you. Now is the time to identify with them. I really found the surfing church. A church in need of Bibles, a church in, in need of encouragement. They have points of need. That's where you meet them. That's what Jesus did. He came to save sinners because they were lost sinners. That's where Jesus comes in. He meets the sick, he heals, he sees the lonely, he's a friend, he sees the children, he plays with them in the market. Where they have a need, that is where Jesus meets them. My advice to the world today is that we must become people of the book. And as we read the book, then you see unfolding in Scripture the picture of God. This is our God. I now begin to understand that that whole problem of sin, and that is what we're dealing with. And if I know who our God is, then it completely takes away my fear in any situation, in any confrontation, because I am a new creature in Christ. The real battle we face in the world is the spiritual battle. And it's probably the least understood. First of all, the whole concept of warfare. Leave that to the military, the destructive power. Um, how do you fight in, in spiritual warfare, prayer? We have to learn so much about the subject of prayer, but not for the sake of cultivating my prayer life, showing the world how, how many hours a day I pray, what a pious guy I am because I pray, and I'm in all those organizations for prayer and intercession and standing in the gap and all that. But always in relation to reaching out to a lost world with the message of Jesus. I had no plan. Certainly not the plan of ever starting a mission. The open doors has always been there because God has never closed the door since Matthew 28. Jesus said, go to all the world. We must never lose sight of the very fundamentals in our faith. We should conquer the world for Christ. As a witness, showing, proving to the world there's a different life possible, Show with your different lifestyle there is a kingdom of God. I have entered into it. I'm part of that church. And, and the outside is only a challenge, never a threat. Anybody can do what Jesus tells you to do. That is, go to the world and be Jesus. Represent him in all simplicity. Be a follower of Jesus. It's all he requires. You follow me. Last verse in John's Gospel. John 21 verse 22. You follow me. On a very popular television program not long ago in Holland, I was interviewed for a whole hour. And in the end came the question, Brother Andrew, how do you want to die? I want to die the way I lived. Uh, but that will bring glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. And if we make that our aim, Lord, how can you best use me here without ever thinking about reward or the afterlife? We get there by grace anyway. Uh, there's nothing we can boast when, when we get there to heaven's gate. The only motivation should be the compassion of Jesus for the lost.